Hi everyone. Um, so I told you that I would be discussing some of my observations from this meeting with this local sister. And one that came up was the amount of control coming from the organization. That it was all about control, conform, and pulling in the reins. And her reply was, well, we're getting closer to Armageddon, so of course they're pulling in the reins. And she knows my history of my alcoholism, and she kind of used that as an analogy um, about stumbling blocks and all kinds of stuff and how you be protected kind of thing. Well, it didn't really work in her favor. Anybody in recovery knows that the whole point of recovery is to build you up, build up your strength, your faith, your courage, your belief so much that you can live in the big bad world of alcohol. And yes, when I was a new member, new sober, I did avoid alcohol. And I did avoid situations that had alcohol in them. But as time went on and my belief and my faith and my courage and my understanding and all of that grew, I was able to live into the big, in the big bad world of alcohol. I can be around alcohol and drinkers and all that, no problem. I even once at a party picked up the wrong drink and drank it by mistake. Um, caught my mistake, went back to my punch, it was no big deal because my belief and my faith was strong enough to handle it. Um, children, send your children, those of you that send your children to public school, they have to face ridicule and questions and hardships regarding the no holidays and all of that kind of stuff. But you educate them and you build up their own faith and their own belief that they can handle it and they can stand up to it. I mean, I remember being a kid, um, we were watching a World War II documentary on the Holocaust. And I grew up in the 1975 era when all that was going on. And I remember my father said something about, you know, we may have to face that. Well, that was a heavy trip for a kid. And man, the nightmares I had about that were all about being in that kind of situation in Armageddon and caving in right before the end, that I wouldn't be strong enough and my faith wouldn't be strong enough and, and that I would cave in at the end and lose it all. And, you know, it was really tough. Um, but what the Watchtower is teaching is exactly the opposite. You know, they're teaching you, you know, they're controlling you, they're conforming you and keeping you in conformity and they're tightening those reins because Armageddon is right around the corner. Shouldn't it be the opposite? You know, are they really about protecting you? Are they about protecting themselves? Because if it was really about you and Armageddon being so close and they need to build you up, they would be building you up and your faith and your courage and all of that so that you could stand up in the big bad world of apostates. That you could handle whatever came from us because your faith and your, your belief was so strong. You know, I heard it said that a single sentence from an apostate can shatter your faith. Really? A single sentence? Really? Is your faith that fragile? Or is it that the organization is that fragile? You know, the conformity and the pulling in the reins has nothing to do with Armageddon being right around the corner and everything to do with protecting them. Because anything that is overprotected, children, animals, etc., anything that is overprotected, do not fare very well on their own. And if Armageddon really is right around the corner, they should be educating you and building you to the point where you could be out in your own, in the big bad world of apostates, if it came down to it, and not be at risk. The problem is not about your faith in Jehovah. The problem is not about your faith in God. The problem is about the organization. Organization is so full of holes that that is why a single sentence can shatter your faith in them. This has nothing to do with God. This has nothing to do with Jehovah and everything to do with them. Because they know that when it comes down to it, every, they, they fall apart. They cannot hold up to any kind of scrutiny the way Jehovah can. So they're not protecting you. They're protecting themselves. Because if it was really about you, if it was really about the members, and it was really about 
preparing you for Armageddon, the opposite would be true. They would be building you up so much that you could stand up to anything that came your way, and your faith would not be at risk of being shattered by a single sentence, no less. Um, it would be, you know, if Armageddon is right around the corner, what happens is if part of your little tribulation is you're smack in the middle of a room full of apostates for six months. Are they were really preparing you to stand up to that? You know, you can really think about this. Because this, if, if your faith, if their faith in themselves was strong enough, they would have no problem answering the questions that we apostates have. They would have no problem addressing the issues that we apostates have. Instead, they have to keep you away from us because they know they have no answer. They know we got the goods on them. They know that it is absolutely true that a single sentence from an apostate can destroy your faith in them. Again, they, they are not Jehovah. This has nothing to do with Jehovah. This has to do with the organization. So yeah, they're not protecting you. They're protecting themselves. They're protecting their secrets. They're protecting their holes. They're protecting all of that stuff. But you really need to think about it. Think about your children. Think about anything. Do you raise them to live in isolation or do you raise them to be strong enough to live in the world and continue to hold on to their faith? And really, if Armageddon is that close, really should be preparing you for the opposite. They really should be preparing you for being without them because it may come to that. Anyway, now I'm starting to ramble. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.